Hey pals, it's your old uncle Tap Tap, and we're about to enter the wonderful world of alimony payments. Wait, no, this is Race the Sun. Uh, that is the button that starts. All right. Um, a review copy of this game was given to me by the developer. Oh, why does the right trigger pause the game? Oh well. So yeah, this. Um, I thought I would try to sort of make an effort to show off more games with unique visual styles, and this game, um, I've been meaning to check it out for a while, it's got, well, you can see it, so I really like the visual style, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna suddenly stop doing all other types of games, but I would like to sort of show more um, visually or artistically otherwise unique games. Yeah, you're a ship, you're racing the sun, and there's stuff you collect. I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, racing the sun is apparently it. It's a birdie! It's pooping at me. Don't perp poop explosive. Oh, you're pooping one-ups at me. That's, I guess that's acceptable. They're not one-ups. Score-ups, whatever. This reminds me of a much less awful 3D Adventures of World Runner. A lot of people say Star Fox. I don't get much of a Star Fox vibe out of it. I guess the low poly, you know, the Super FX version, kind of. I mean, aside from low poly and low colors, I don't really see this as being very Star Foxy. Because I mean, the controls, you know, the controls much more like World Runner, except I mean, you're left and right only. I... Oh, that's why it's called the Race of the Sun. Should probably have checked out the controls. I sort of like to give first impressions on games, but I guess I'll find out the. Uh... Oh, it's got those objective thingers. Uh... Oh, go to the gear. The gear. Get. Get. I got. It. Um. Let's race the sun again. So I was just not screwing up my only objective here. Hmm. Those buttons I set to menu whenever don't seem to do anything. Solar energy depleted there just for a second. Oh well. Birdie! Poop some delicious points for me. Mmm, yes. Oh, you do a barrel roll if you like. Yeah. Do the thing that I just did. You know the thing. If I die this time, I'll go and look what I'm supposed to do. Like, what? it's sunsetting. There doesn't seem to be anything I can do about this. I only got hit once in like the last level. Maybe, I think I got hit a couple times, but still. Hmm. Perhaps there's a help option I should have read or something. Oh, it's an upgrade-y game. Okay, I see. Thank you, Giant Tutorial. We played two rounds. Complete. Hey. Hey. I... Okay. Oh, so the game gets one of those games that upgrades and gets more complex as you go on. I see your game. I see it. 
Yes, I, I, I figured I was solar powered. Travel a distance of blah blah blah. Two regions and no collisions in one round. That's gonna be hard. Mm. Clear one region is not going to be. The mission structure is something I've been seeing a lot. I'm not entirely sure of my opinion on it. It works pretty well in some games. I I don't think it's the end all be all. Um I think my cat's plotting to knock something over. He's standing up his hind legs, that's never a good sign. Um I don't know, it Ow. It seems like it's working alright in this game. Though Aha. Sort of weird to just be thrown in and not know why you're dying, but since I only had to do two runs before that activated, I think it's alright. See, now I have like the actual means to continue. Like I do like um the reason I'm conflicted on the objectives thing, it's sort of what I like is um Parker, get down. Um I like when games reveal more gameplay options as you go on and sort of the gameplay itself is the tutorial and so you know instead of having a big huge tutorial that explains everything to you up front you just earn game mechanics organically and you know figure it out yourself or you know um, optionally ideally optionally you have something that tells you you know um, what to do or like this game does where it says like hey you have new ability this is what it does and in this case, it seems fairly obvious what the uh, implications are. Ow. I like how chill the, the controls, you know, just left and right. There may be button actions later that we unlock, maybe. But uh, it's a very good gamepad game. It's on the... I'm playing on Steam. This is, you know, PC game. I'm not aware of... Hey, we got to Region 3. All right. Um, any console versions, but, uh, whoop. Also, is this on, on sale on Steam? It, um, I'm not sure if this video will go up, but if it's, well, it's still on sale, but, ah! How did my explosion go through the object? We unlocked level three! Any collision? Okay, then. Tries of the blue humor chips. Interesting. Alright, hold on. I desperately need to turn on VSync. You probably I'm pretty sure you can't see VSync. Oh. What? How dare you put me on the low quality? Um Okay. I have forced VSync, though my I was already set to on unless manually disabled. If you manually disabled VSync, don't do that. Um what the hell? Okay. Not sure why my controller was being weird there for a second. Um, what was I gonna say? Please include VSync options, especially in a fast paced game, so the tearing is incredibly noticeable. I'm not sure what the fantastic graphics did. Oops. Uh, it's a different worldly thing. But it doesn't look too different. At least you detected 1080p. That really bugs me when games start at 720p. Um, oh, I see. When you pass through shadows, I get it. I get it. Bird poops some power ups at me. Yes. Yeah. Some good bird poop power ups. Those are my favorite kind of power ups, honestly. Parker looks very alarmed. He's, he's he's my co-op let's player over here. He's sleeping on my desk. Fortunately, I'm using my gamepad instead of my keyboard, so Parker's giant butt being on my table is not a problem. We unlocked level four. We got to jump. Oh, so there is action buttons. So I like that how this game uses the action at the mission structure. That I would have appreciated when I finished my first run. I would have liked a better idea of what the levels did. Because I... I figured I was missing something, and... That's an okay feeling to have if the game, you know, suddenly explains that to me, but... 
It's sort of weird to have to go through two levels, and I don't think I did poorly. Is that a one use? That that feels like a one use. Yeah, that's a one use item. Um, I think I would have appreciated it more if I had a warning after the first time I played, not the second, but whatever. I don't think I did too terribly the first time, did I? Yeah, I like how the mission structure is working out in this game. I don't like that it's basically like the cure of all ills, and like I see it a lot in mobile games. Um, it's almost as you know common as the three stars structure, but I do really like how um, what's it called? Jetpack Joyride does it pretty well. This might be my favorite method because it actually unlocks stuff instead of it's just basically. Um, more coins in uh, Jetpack Joyride. So it, it gives you something to do, but it doesn't, you know, progress the game or anything. That was kind of pointless. I was hoping that would get out that extension. Ow. Inevitable yet expected. I like the snarky remarks on the bottom in the middle left there. I didn't notice those before. We collect- you know what, I'm gonna collect that one next triangle and die, just so I finish that level. And... Let's try that again. One more time. Boop! Boop! Alright. Oh, was there only one snarky comment? Alright. We got level 5! As if I could be more attractive. He recreate the wor world of phrase that's not every 24 hours. We will give you back tomorrow. Aww, that's nice. That's nice. I take it to mean they, um, it's procedurally generated. Let's put that magnet on there. Alrighty. I don't... how do I... There we go. They control... what the... It's really weird. The menu acts really weird when you're using the uh, joystick. Oh well. We got some stats. No! Okay, it's very hard to go directly to the right. Not sure why. Well, whatever. No, go! Go to the... Okay. Alright. Let's... Go! Okay, okay. Whatever. I'm not sure if I'm in direct input mode instead of X input and it's not doing it right, or, um, it's just not programmed quite right. The problem, I'm using my, uh, DualShock 4, and I thought I had started my utility to, you know, treat it like a 360 pad, but I don't know. I'm not sure why, but every game seems to treat direct input differently. I'm not sure if there's, like, no standard way you can, but in some games, direct input works perfectly fine. Um, like, I know you can program specifically for the DualShock 4, but... I just would not expect the range of different issues I have when I'm in direct input mode. So yeah, you definitely want an X input if you're going to use a DualShock 4 controller. I do recommend it. I use this, um, just Google for DS4 tool. It's this, um, the program is called SCP Server, but like, I don't know if that's like a third party thing. They just, you know, change to make work for the DS4 or what, but, uh. It works really well, a lot better than Motion Joy. I hate that thing. The drivers crash all the time. Oh hey! I did click that this time, somehow. But, whatever. Phew. Ooh! That was close. But yeah, I like the skins. I like the... The visuals, the um, gameplay is simple and gets deeper as it goes on. I really like that. The um, it's like progressive disclosure, but you know it's gameplay instead of a form. I like gameplay more than forms, don't you? It's got some clear, you know, uh, something a lot of people don't get about procedural content. It's not just random. Uh, like you see that that gate, you know the staggered gateways we just went through a bit ago, and these, these windmills. Um, procedural content um, can, you know, make 
Either that or maybe these are just fully formed stages. Um, and I'm just not noticing that they're all identical. But, uh, but the thing with procedural content is you can make a game... You can make, like, bits and pieces of well-designed game... Um, you know, level design. And, you know, I needed to jump there. Oh well. That was a pretty good run. Collide with four. Okay, I'll get the collide with four objects. Um, where was I going with this? By being able to, you know, procedural design basically lets you um, properly design bits and pieces, but have them you know, combine in novel ways to make that sort of endless replayability type of stuff. Hooray, we got more multiplier stuff. There are many things can only be earned by completing tasks, I kind of noticed. Hmm. But now we need four instead of five. Well, I think we've seen, you know, the basic premise, so we'll just do one more run. We all know how that ends. Yeah, I think these may be... Hmm. I wonder if that 24-hour comment means, like... It is procedurally generated, but once every 24 hours. That or they mainly update it every 24 hours. I would kind of not expect that, but... I don't know. That would be sort of interesting if it was, like, procedurally generated, but the same maps every 24 hours, so you could sort of, like, compete. You know, have the random generation and the, you know, the ability to try and perfect the courses of the day or whatever. That'd be interesting. Suppose I should find these things out before I play them. But I also like the, you know, first play thing. It's sort of a... Um, oh, he's pooping power-ups in the wrong area. Get... Dang it. Yeah. Sort of conflicting ideals. Because I want to, you know, I want to inform you as best I can about the game, but I also kind of want to do the first impressions. I like this map. The, you know, construct... I'm a sucker for anything that, you know, construct it, constructs itself as you play. It's something you use many times, and I almost always like it. Yeah, you know, like Bastion, that's a great example of it. The cat's just chilling on the desk here. Let's jump for no reason. Now we jump for no reason! Oh! Do not randomly shimmy to the side to side. That will get you killed. Perfect region. Yeah, give me them poop power-ups. What does this bird eat that makes him poop rainbows? Asking for a friend. Oop. I think that killed me before, didn't it? Yeah. Whee! See, these! I like these. Show me more of these. Oh, goodness. I like the shadows. The shadows are an interesting threat. Like, it's not immediate death, and... Oh, it's just pretty neat. Oh, you're doing... Whoop! I'm not falling for that twice in a row. Probably. Maybe two times non-consecutively, but not twice in a row. That's... That's right out... Oh, God! I did not... I figured those were ramps. Those were not ramps. Oh god. Okay. I, I'm... I'm used to your tricks now. This magnet doesn't seem super great. Unless I have to... Oh. Do I have to activate it or something? I don't think so. Maybe it's pretty subtle. Boop. I like this level too. Why? What am I doing? I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Very dead. Okay. 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 There we go. We're better. We're, we're, we're okay. Wow. This is a hectic one. Good to see more... ...prizes. Not that one. But yeah, I... I like that level. Okay, we got another level. If we save this world... What? Damn it, game, now I have to find out what that is. I was gonna stop playing. You frickin' procedural games always doing this to me. Always. Oh well. 
Yeah, it definitely seems to have crafted levels, because like this, yeah, we've been to this level like almost every run, really. Let's see what this portal is. I don't see one yet. We're gonna quit after that portal, I swear, it's time. I really do love the otherworldliness of the aesthetic. I mean, it's the sort of thing that doesn't really need flashy graphics to stand out anyway. Bird poop! Let's get all these bird poop multipliers. Alright. Where is that gate? Don't tell me that's like super rare, because I really want to see what that does now. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Portal World Void Flip Fly. I don't know what any of that means. Whee, it's pretty though. Oh god. Okay, now I'm starting to see the Star Fox comparisons. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, these sections feel almost out of uh, Star Fox 64. To be quite honest, I never played the original Star Fox, I just have Star Fox 64. I played Assault. <laughs> yeah, Assault wasn't that bad. Um, Star Fox Command was that bad. Um, that was a real shame. They're bringing Star Fox allegedly back to the Wii U, but I mean, it seems like they aren't quite sure what to do with it yet. Like, they have a prototype, but it, like... I don't know. It just sort seemed like the sort of thing they'd make into a download... downloadable instead of a, you know, a full game. Which I'm fine with downloadables, but... I'm sure plenty of people won't be happy. But the rage of Star Fox fans will never match the rage of poor F-Zero fans. Oh, I wanted to be in that tunnel. That tunnel looks like a cool place to be. Alright, there better be nothing cool I unlock out of this run, because this really should be my last run. Ow! Don't die. It's looking at me funny. What was that, region four? No! What are you doing? How dare you? Okay. I was gonna say, I thought it was gonna kill me. It's like, that would be very rude. Region four. Oh, goodness. Yoink. What? Achievement unlocked. Rock. Barrel roll 20 times? Barrel roll is pretty hard in this. Oh well. We didn't level up and that's kind of good. So. Take a look at our leaderboard. Yeah, this can't be quite right. There we go. Oh, it is a new world. I see. I see. Do you see, Parker? Do you see? Say hi. Can you say hi? Hmm? No? Parker refuses to say hi. I'm sorry. This has been Sir Tap Tap, and this is Race the Sun. You can go check it out on Steam. Link in the description, as always.